Alright, I think I'm the first dumbass to put my medical records on YouTube. <laughs> I've edited some names and numbers out that I think are sensitive. Also, I started halfway down the record. So, uh, let's start right here. Which is all the things that are none of their business. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Uh, my system reviews right here, everything seems normal. I don't understand why everything is normal and you will soon find out why I don't think everything shouldn't have been normal um, right here are my vitals my temperature my heart rate my respiratory my uh, blood pressure and right here is my oxygen that's in my blood and everything is normal right there uh, my physical exam um, he is oriented to person place and time he appears well developed and well nourished. Aww. Uh, physical exam continued. Uh, neck cardiovascular pulmonary, abdominal, musculoskeletal, neurological, skin, psychiatric. Everything is normal. <laughs> right here is my metabolic panel. I don't even understand half of this shit, what the fuck it means or what it does. Uh, especially any of these the equations right here um, I think if this shit was off right here my physical exam wouldn't have been up to par so we're just going to continue uh, here's the good part 28 year old male presents to the ED 4.5 hours after drinking a whole ball of NyQuil to help him sleep <laughs> after he snorted cocaine and couldn't sleep he presents to the ED with normal vitals, normal physical exam, normal neuro exam. He had large episode of emesis with significant amount of blue liquid, same color as NyQuil came up. Uh, I guess emesis is just the fancy ass word for throwing up. Uh, that part right there was kind of cool. I asked the RN, I was like, yo, I need to throw up. So she handed me a bin. And that shit looked like gelatin with charcoal and like charcoal specks in it. And I asked her, what the fuck is this? And you know, when whenever a doctor or RN looks at you after you ask a question and don't say shit about it, like, that shit's scary. And so I just slammed it, slammed my head on the back of the pillow like, oh shit, I'm fucked up. <laughs> His four hour time level was only 26 EKG with normal limits. Uh... I don't know what the fuck that means, but this was a certified suicide attempt, so I guess if it wasn't normal, I will be dead. Uh, patient really wants to go home. He is competent to make medical decisions. He is not suicidal. He has already been observed for almost six hours post-ingestion, now with no symptoms or major events. Patient is okay for discharge. I spoke to the patient and his mother about the dangers of drug use. And also the severe dangers of liver failure from drinking so much NyQuil. Alright, this was a very dark place in my life. Uh, and it became dark because of, not all of that, but this right here. Not, I need to use a better screen recorder. Uh, it was dark because of, there we go, that right there. <laughs> I am a drug addict. Uh, I've been sober for a good amount of time now. And this was one of the events that can contribute to my moment of clarity. Um, I explained a lot more in my ebook. Um, everything would be listed in the description below. Uh, I went into like this crazy ass fuck it mode pretty much I was in my mom's house during this time and I didn't really want to leave a bad image in her head of me dying so I figured I would just go to sleep and not wake up so I went to her her cabinet and I downed the whole bottle of fucking NyQuil um <laughs> this is my disposition right here Everything is still normal. I think my heart rate went up about 60s.
what eight eight points so that's kind of cool <laughs> diagnosis uh Tylenol overdose cocaine use and I was clear to go home about hell about eight to ten hours <laughs> that's that's everything being normal that pretty much just explains the capacity of my resilience pretty much man um even though I was weak at this point I still remain strong internally <laughs> here's the proof 